Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Witness, and this is the Secrets episode you have all been waiting for. And this took much longer to make than I expected, so I hope you enjoy. Now, starting off, let's start off at number 10. This is going to be a top 10s list, by the way. We are going to go to the boat. The boat is mm, the probably the least secret in the game, because there are a bunch of ports dotted all around the island, and it's the fastest means of communication in the game by far. Obviously, you can walk around, you can sprint around, but the boat is your go-to transportation system. To unlock the boat, you can go to, I think, a few ports. In our walkthrough series, I went up to the quarry port. I'm pretty sure you can also go down here to this one near the jungle. That's where most people will recommend you to go. We have the boat. If you didn't, if you didn't know about the boat yet, then definitely go and get it because this is a really really important secret now speaking of the boat let's move on to number nine look at the map now you might you might be looking at the map and you're like there's nothing special about the map but look at the shape of it and again it's a very weird shape but then look at the shape in the center over there look at the shape of the lake it's exactly the same so let's move on to the lake right now we're actually near I actually positioned the boat right there because you know, I need to get over to the lake really fast, but it's not an area where you can actually solve anything. There's no puzzles, there's no, you know, lasers, there's no really anything to unlock, but it is really important if you want to 100% the game. Of course, you can use guides and stuff, but everything here at the lake, you see these little clams, these little open flowers, they all represent achievements. And let me tell you all about them. So first, you have these lights, these all represent the laser. So if you haven't got one laser, one of the lights will be shut off. Then we have these flowers. These flowers represent audio logs, which I'll get into later. These fountains, they represent obelisks. So I'm pretty sure if it's flashing, you've you've got it. You've got at least one of the obelisks down. And if it's not doing anything, then you haven't unlocked any of the environmental puzzles. Again, we will talk about that later. Then I'm I'm trying to find one. There's little triangle pieces. Oh, also there are these clams. These clams represent little secret rooms. We actually found one at the very, very, very beginning of the game. And I'm going to show you about them. Maybe even make a video about them. And then there's these little triangles. These triangles represent discarded puzzles. It's one of these triangle puzzles. Again, I'll talk about them later. But if you want to 100% the game, this is a really, really important asset. Because it will tell you these are basically all of the achievements of the game. But... From this, let us move on. Now, again, number eight, the statues, or whatever these are. Now, at first, they may seem completely out of place, and they just might seem decorative, but I think they're not the secret, obviously. You can find them all over the place, but I think the secret is they each have their own secret. For example, I remember commenting on this one in the town episode, and I'm like, she looks grief-stricken or whatever. But this is like any other puzzle of the game. If you look from another perspective, you will see that she is a juggler. A juggler, yes, meant to entertain people. And yet, she's going through depression, just like many other entertainers out there. Many entertainers entertain because they want to keep themselves happy too. And so all of these statues hold a secret, and there have been so many discussions online. I have honestly been trying to figure it out too, but it is difficult. Like, this one has its own expression. Another one can be, can look happy, but be painting something sad. And it's, it all paints the story of this game. And really, you might think there's no story, but there's some significance behind all of these puzzles, all these statues. Okay, now, as I said before, there, those little triangles in the lake, they represent discarded puzzles. An example of one of these is in the town, it's in, it's like through this doorway, and, you know, it's pretty close by. But there's this little, what do you call this? Con shipping container. And inside, I think we've seen some of these during this series. And basically, they're triangle puzzles. And the rule, they don't activate anything. But the rule behind them is that these triangles represent how many sides the line must touch. So see, it's only touching two sides. And that completes this puzzle. And completing them will activate, you know, the triangles in the lake. It will kind of make them, you know, lose their orange color. But it'll also teach you a very important, uh, you know, rule for what I'm about to tell you about, the challenge. 
And speaking of the challenge, here we are on the top of the mountain where we actually finished the game. And the challenge is something that will only unlock once you have all 11 of the lasers. And obviously, I've got all of those. If you haven't checked out any of the videos getting those, go check that out now. But you see this mail in the box that actually unlocks this initial puzzle? Yeah, there's a little solution underneath. And this solution activates another wire. Now, this other wire winds all the way down. And we're actually going to go down with the wire because I want to show you the beginning to the challenge. I'm not actually going to show you any of the solutions to the challenge because most of the puzzles are actually completely random. It's like, remember that door from the last episode? Well, yeah, this is like that door. All of the puzzles, they're new every single time. Of course, there are some puzzles that are the same to actually get into the challenge. But the ones to actually complete the challenge, yeah, those change. So I'm going to go all the way down and I'll see you then. So here we are, the very, very end of the game. There, There's actually the elevator that takes us out. But this guy right here, I think I commented on him. But look, his puzzle is now activated and it's all because uh, this is the activation to the challenge. Basically, the challenge is a test of all of your skills of the game along with those, you know, triangular puzzles. And you really have to know your stuff. There's really no true... Uh, solutions to them because they will be random every time as I said but yeah at the end and guess what the price of the challenge is it actually ties to another thing on our list but now that we're done with the challenge let's move on to the obelisks okay here we are number five secret the obelisks and basically what the obelisks are is okay I am I'm like enunciating that but what they are is environmental puzzles. All puzzles in the game, they have a starting point and an ending point. And if you ever see that like in the wilderness somewhere, then you can just hop on and solve an environmental puzzle. Now, something I do have to tell you is that a lot of these secrets, for example, right here. Look, right here. There's a, there's a little ball for the start. See, look at that. And I already solved this one, but there are a hundred of these or more. And a lot of them are very long and complicated. So I want to say... A lot of these little secrets I'm telling you about, I might not be able to do a video on, or else this will be a 50-part series, and I don't think anybody wants that. But the obelisks, there are, like, hundreds of guides online, and just look how many puzzles there are. And there are, like, six obelisks in the game. But yeah, when you finish one of those, it's going to open up one of these clams. Hmm, let me try to find a clam. Yep, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's gonna find. It's gonna open up one of the clams, and it's gonna signify that you are getting much, much closer to 100%. So the obelisks are really tough. You really have to be aware of your surroundings. But if you can solve them, great job. So here we are. Speaking of things that I will not be able to show all of you is this these audio files. First of all, there are 49 of them in the game. So they are presented by the flowers in the lake. So if you haven't found some of them. Go look at your lake and see if your flowers haven't blossomed, but 49, and there's also the whole audio to go along with them. Wow, that's ridiculous, but these audio files, they, they have some sort of philosophical meaning, uh, and I'm trying to listen to some of them, I'm trying to analyze them, I'm trying to think about it, and it's really, really confusing. Oh my god, here's another one of these puzzles, just as I was talking about it, obelisk time, here we go. But anyway, as I was saying, the audio files, wow, they have some deep stuff. So if you have the game, go check those out, definitely. Again, there are guides everywhere about where to find them, but what they actually mean, you're going to have to find that out on your own. Okay, guys, so the next two things that I'll talk about on this list, number two and three, are actually completely interconnected. Now, I want you to think back to the first ever episode on this channel, not on this channel, of The Witness, I want you to think back to that little room that we unlocked. Let me try to find it. Oh yeah, look. Did you did you remember that puzzle? Do you remember that little briefcase that we opened? Well, there are things called bunkers in this game. And basically, they have a really, really tough puzzle. They have a really, really tough challenge that you have to use your knowledge of the game to actually solve. So remember, we solved this one. I told you there would be a secret. Here we are. And basically, they have a little little you know puzzle and you might be like well, well what is this what is this hoonanigans who shenanigans and actually let's tie that in with the next one the next item on this list number two the windmill now when we first were doing the cherry blossom area and then when we later did the town area 
You were all probably looking at that windmill, and you were like, what's the significance? Is it just there to stand there? And no, the windmill has a special reason to be there. Basically, you have to solve a bunch of puzzles to get it moving, to open it up, blah, blah, blah. But actually, inside, using those solutions from the bunkers, and there are six dotted all around the map, and actually, the last bunker is the challenge. So the reward for the challenge is one of those, you know, puzzles. And basically... See, like, this is the solution to actually open the door. If you're actually able to get all of those bunker solutions, you can go... If you're actually able to get all those bunker solutions, you can go in here, you can... Oh, yeah, I also got the blade spinning. You can go in here, you can input them at the very bottom. I'm actually going to do another video on this. I know I said this was going to be the last one, but this is going to be... This is really an interesting part of the game, because those videos, they are pretty, pretty interesting. You've, you've just got to find all those six, input them there, and then you are good. And here it is. Secret number one. Right under your noses from the very, very start. It's another one of these environmental puzzles. Ta-da! No, I'm just kidding. I'm being extremely, extremely serious. This is a secret ending. If you do not want spoilers of the game, do not watch this right now. However, if you don't really care, then I'll show you exactly what to do. Now, there's two ways to actually get to this, to actually get this. Because when you actually solve the, you know, the actual gateway. So, let me just show you the, the solution that you would usually do at the beginning. You know, put it in as much as you want. This shuts off. Now, I can't do anything. Oh, no. Now, the, now you can actually do two things. You can either start a new game, which I actually did for this one. Don't worry, none of my progress is actually lost. But, but there's actually another alternative. If you do the challenge, you can find one of these puzzle solutions. And I'm going to show you the solution right now. And in the beginning, you may never even think of putting this in. But if you put this solution right here in, you don't have to start a new game or anything. But you do close this gate back up. And as you solve this puzzle, let me just go wee, 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 all the way around. It, is, it does actually count as an obelisk puzzle, but you walk through a corridor, it's a little reception desk, and I'll tell you something, this place is jam-packed with these audio files if you, if you do want to find them, and now we're just here. There's nothing, it's actually a really nice view of everything, but there's nothing really special about this. We're in the clouds, we're, you know, just in some kind of hallway... But as we start getting deeper and deeper, we will start getting closer and closer to the secret ending. This right here is one of the rooms of the challenge that I was talking about. It goes very, very deep into the map, and there is it winds all the way through, testing your skills. But let's just walk in here. Oh, come on, we're out here again. Okay, I'm going to need to find a way into this place, into... Because this is, this is a really nice secret ending because that first ending you might have been like okay just takes you all the way through and it just resets your game that's cool and all but what is really that special about the ending well this is actually a really really nice treat this secret ending it's gonna take us into the real world oh wow look at this it's like the puzzles are being broken down and here we are in in the real world Somebody has worked on this game to make it, you have to admit that. And, you know, we can solve one of these cute little puzzles, you know, right? Let me just solve this real quick. It's gonna turn on the light. Look at that, it's real. People have been working on this game. Developers of this game have worked tirelessly to make all of this art, to make all these fantastic puzzles, and it's gonna show you a little bit into their world. As we journey deeper and deeper into this secret ending place, like, okay, where am I? I don't know how you call it. There we go, there's a path. Wait, is that the path? Did I just come from there? Am I lost? I think I might be lost. Okay, let's just keep going this. Did we come from here? Okay, I am most definitely lost. Oh no, we walked through the archway, and... Here we are. I don't know where I am. I don't see anything. Okay, where, where actually am I? Here I am. 
This is, I'm just pausing real quick, this is the real world. We are now in the real world, we are now in the secret ending of the game. In this episode, we are able to discuss a lot of the secrets of this game. The boat, the lake, the obelisks, the windmill and the bunkers, which I'll do another video actually explaining. The statues, the challenge, the audio files, the discarded puzzles. Actually, a lot of those I won't actually make videos on. But this is it. The final secret of the game that was right under your nose from the very start. I'm going to stop commentating now and just sit back, relax, watch the show. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.